Police officers guarding every corner of the Oval, but even arriving via the back entrance, the Premier couldn't avoid the hit. Around 250 protesters crashing community cabinet in Cairns, furious about recent job cuts. A convoy of rural firefighters joining the rally. 15 far northern brigades threatening to stop assisting the Mariba Urban Service and let government property burn if proposed budget cuts aren't scrapped. The people that they're sacking are people that come out on the fire ground and support us. Sometimes they'll even pick up a hose or a rake or whatever. They come out, they train our, vol our new um, recruits. The changes we have made to the rural fire services is about making sure there are more yellow trucks and less cars for bureaucrats. Campbell Newman used the event to talk up new plans to mine bauxite deposits on Cape York. A tender process for the Aracoon bauxite leases. I stress that that process will be done uh, in consultation with the full community. But even the official proceedings were overshadowed by the fiery scenes outside. Protesters here include people who've lost their jobs as well as residents worried about the economic impacts this will have on their local communities. In sect, I've been a teacher for over 25 years um, and this is the first time I haven't worked. Two theatre staff, the people who organised supplies for theatre in the hospital were, were uh, sacked on Friday. I mean, well, how, can, how can a theatre operator don't have supplies? The Premier adamant the decisions his government has made are in the best interest of the whole state. Kirsty Johansson, The News. The would-be Premier says he's long seen the far north as a scenic destination with plenty of potential. He and wife Lisa even spent some of their honeymoon here. Years. I think the first time I came ever to Cairns was uh, as a teenager back in 1976. His visits now not so laid back. This his eighth to the region since becoming LNP leader last year. In that time, the party seat of Cairns has dumped a candidate, then endorsed a controversial former newspaper columnist. Mr Newman, resolute. I think he's a terrific bloke, got a wonderful wife and family, and uh, I think he'll do a good job. Campbell Newman sympathising with Mr King, both key targets for attacks before and during the campaign. You must have known when Gavin King was selected as candidate that these articles would come out. I knew he was a journalist. I knew he'd been controversial. But you know what? He's fundamentally a fantastic bloke. When it comes to Cairns and Poll Day, Campbell agrees with Anna on two things. The city needs to diversify and not rely solely on tourism industry. And a vote for minor parties, such as the Australian Party, won't benefit the region. Our nation's been going nowhere since 2010 because of crazy independence. What Mr Catter and others are selling is nothing nothing that will deliver for Queenslanders. When asked if he thinks he will win... Oh look, that's one for the political commentators. But if elected to run the state Saturday week, the engineer, former army officer and Queensland Grain Co executive says regional Queensland will be a priority. I love this state, I'll be getting out and about and uh, I care about every single pocket of this state and its people. Jessica Millward, Win News. A mother, a wife, a premier, who says she champions the far north, conceding it as a key region at the next state election. Many, many people have had a special family holiday here. I know my family has, and our boys uh, say this was uh, one of the best family holidays they've ever had. And I tell people that and tell them to come here. Labor holds four seats in the far north, change inevitable in one. After 14 years, local member Desley Boyle retiring, making way for former councillor Kirsten Lucina. What you've got in Kirsten is someone, a lot of youthful energy, someone who's I think served the people of Cairns very well already in uh, her term as a councillor. The Premier defending LNP criticism of her government's approach to the mining sector, its fly-in, fly-out potential set to help underpin an economy hostage to an erratic tourism industry. It will always be a great place to visit, it will always be a big tourist town, but we need to wrap it around, wrap around it some other industries that protect it. Opinion polls are indicating an LNP landslide, but there was still spontaneous support here. Number one for me in Cairns. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Hi girls! <laughs> Now you've got to run that. And after a history-making week in politics... 
in one word, if you can indeed describe it in one word, tell me what the first week of the campaign's been like. <laughs> A roller coaster. <laughs> I know that's two words, but. <laughs> <laughs> Jessica Millward, Wind News.